Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to show you how to leverage some DAX to be able to create the ability to cross highlight using a slicer. As you can see in front of us here, natively visuals can cross filter each other to be able to highlight both the grand total and subtotals, but normally slicers can't do this. However, I've leveraged some visual features that have come out recently, plus a little bit of clever DAX to be able to give this effect. So what I want to do is walk you through how I built this. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So as always, to start the demo, let's just look at the final product. Again, the thing that I'm trying to create via a slicer selection is the ability to have a visual that cross highlight the other one. And native visuals do this automatically if you have the settings set up. You can either cross highlight or cross filter depending on your preference, but the client wanted to be able to have that same effect with leveraging, if we come up to the slicer here, a slicer selection to get the same achieved effect. So in this case, I'm going to select computers. The page filters to that as a slicer should, but the visual over here also filters to that as well. Also this way and this technique, we have further customization on how that highlighting looks as well, which is something that the native cross highlighting doesn't actually allow us for. So let's go ahead and review how I built this out. I'm going to close out of this here. And now let's select the visual and see how I built this. I'm going to come over to the build pane over here. And to start with, notice that I have two measures in here on my Y axis. I have a grand total, which is a metric called sales all category and my regular sales calculation. Now, in this case, if I'm coming over to the selection in here and scoot this down just a little bit, now, the base calculation that I have is just my sales amount. However, I have a separate calculation called sales all category, where the only difference is I'm taking my original sales amount and I am having it ignore any filters coming from the product category, which in this case is my slice of selection down below. Now, the reason you only see one bar is because of a recent release in the spring of 2024, where on the visual, if I close out of this and I come over to the format pane, we have an option under columns or clustered columns specifically where I can come to all settings, go to layout. If I scroll down, I have an overlap feature. So technically, there's actually two columns in here. But when I have this off and I do a space between series of 100% rather than, let's say, anything else as we start to see the slim down of those where they're separated. So 100% means they're fully overlapped and I will never be able to see the grand total amount because that is buried behind the sales amount as long as the grand total is first, sales is second, that puts the top ones behind the other ones. But because I have a calculation as a reminder that is looking at the all product category in here to remove those filters, because I have that built into the visual here, as soon as I come over to category and make a selection, let's assume computers as an example, that will filter the lower calculation and then exposing the grand total in the back to show you that grand total value exactly like the cross highlight would. But again, we have an added benefit in here now when we're doing this, where I can actually for columns, I can control all of the formatting options. So for my grand total, I have the transparency set to 70 instead of zero, because that just allows it to be a little bit more transparent and in the background and to highlight that. So it shows that gauge being filled kind of like the cross highlighting was, but I can control the color here. I can control the border. I have a lot more options to control all the colors with those. And that final touch is under data labels where it is turned on for my sales amount here. So that subtotal and the grand total has that turned off. So that grand total label will never show. It shows when you hover in the tooltip but the only label that is showing is either the original or that highlighted value. So I'm getting a near identical effect that I would have had here. But again, this way I can control any of these background colors or those highlight colors, but using the slicer selection and two measures with a hundred percent overlap, I now have full freedom to be able to customize that. And I now have a slicer that cross highlights these visuals, even though that is not something natively out of the box. So I'm very happy that we have this overlap feature because there's so many more possibilities now to combine data and visuals together to get that, that we didn't natively have when you can layer visuals and kind of hide the columns when the values are matching in the back end. Now, again, this was for a client scenario and it was the exact effect that I needed to achieve. 
But as always, I'm curious to know how you might incorporate some of these into your reports. Feel free to drop any comments like that down below, suggestions for a future video. And as always, check out some of my related content here in the upper left. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. And I will see you all in my next video.